Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today, this is going to be the final video of the day on the new uh, He-Man series, Masters of the Universe Revelation. So, in my last video, I brought up the line from this uh, from the, from the article Kevin Smith Trolls Masters of the Universe Critics with Clerks 3 Character Death Joke. And the line was, um, da, 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 da. he has confirmed he did not intentionally set out to provoke fans or quote-unquote upset anybody. Well, uh, coming from uh, comicbookresources.com, uh, Kevin Smith has a message for angry He-Man fans. Grow the fuck up. Kevin Smith, the mind behind the new He-Man series on Netflix, has some harsh words for the angriest of the critics of the new show. Um, warning, uh, there may be, there, there's, there's spoilers for Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1, but who cares, that show is, has been spoiled to death by this point, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Kevin Smith has lost his patience with a certain group of He-Man fans who are angry over the big twist in Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1. Is it really a twist if it happens in the very first episode? Um, the writer-director developed the new He-Man series for Netflix based on the idea of continuing the story of the original series. However, adult audiences who remember the original series from their childhood have issued harsh criticism and even taken to review bombing to bring Part 1's Ron Tomato score audience score down, as they, as they should... And there are legitimate criticisms that I covered in my first video today. Um, but, 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 whoops. Uh, Smith explained to Variety that he was convinced to even do, that he was convinced to even do the series by being told by Netflix's director of original series Ted Ted by uh, by Aselli, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Quote: I yearn to watch the show I thought I was watching in childhood. That's what I'm looking for here. The same show, but people can die. Can you do that? And I was like, that's the only thing I can do. Now, there is an argument to be made about, you know, maturing up the cartoon. It's like, not just in Masters of the Universe, but even the original G.I. Joe cartoon, none of the characters were ever allowed to die on screen. And that, in, in my opinion, made the show feel a lot more boring. And why a lot of those, um, why a lot of those shows like Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, and Thundercats really don't hold up today is because... The, the fact that nobody can die there's no means that there's absolutely no stakes in those original shows. And they're basically, let's just call them for what they were. They were basically just glorified toy, toy commercials without them being classified as toy commercials. But getting back to the article. However, the big twist in, in the news series is that He-Man and Skeletor are seemingly killed in battle with each other in the very first episode, tearing magic away from Eternia and leaving the other heroes alone, with Tila being forced to take a more central role in He-Man's temporary absence. This has led to a number of fans angrily calling the new series a bait and switch. And as I have pointed out prior, these people have a point. The show is called Masters of the Universe, with He-Man being the central character from the very start, but now you're going to kill off He-Man in the very first episode and have a brand new lead. That is, by definition, a bait-and-switch. Um, since He-Man is mostly only in flashbacks during the series. Yeah, that, that's, that's a problem. Um, Smith does not take those, those complaints very seriously. Quote, it's been interesting seeing who truly is a hardcore fan. Oh, no, we're, go we're going into the true fan uh, territory. The, the, like, it, the, this falls under the no true Scotsman fallacy, but let's continue on. Um, because anybody that's like, oh man, there's not enough He-Man or something like that doesn't understand the show th th that we based it on. Re you based it on the cartoon called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe with the Masters of the Universe toy line having He-Man as its central character. But anyway, back to this. Um, there were episodes where he lost the sword and he never became He-Man. It wasn't like He-Man always saved the day. His friends helped him. That was the fucking point of the show. End quote. Now, to be fair, I have not seen a single episode of the original He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So maybe that is true. I don't know, but I can't. I can't call bullshit on that if I do if I if I don't if I if I don't know. But uh getting back to that is uh, but let's get back to this article here. Um, I see people online go, hey man, they're getting rid of He-Man. Like, you really fucking think Mattel Television who hired me? Okay, I, I, I think I read this in the, in the, in the first 
video, but in case if you didn't, I'm going to reread it here. Um, I see people going, I see people online going, hey man, they're getting rid of He-Man. Like, you really fucking think Mattel Television, who hired me and paid me money, wants to do a fucking Masters of the Universe show without He-Man? He continued in a harsher manner. Grow the fuck up, man. Like, that blew my mind. Bunch of people be, being like, oh, I smell it. This is a bait and switch. And this is how the article ends. And personally, with regards to all of, like, with regards to all of this, um, backlash for the, for the series, Kevin Smith really should just keep his fucking mouth shut at this point. The more, the more he runs his mouth, the more trouble he's just going to get himself and the show in, which is not good for anybody because here, here's, here's the thing now part. Okay. Part two has not aired yet. So we don't know how it's going to conclude. Um, how many people are going to come back and watch part two after basically being told to go fuck yourself? Yeah, if if I were if I were one of those people upset, I I wouldn't be watching the show. In fact, personally, I've lost any and all interest in watching this show simply because of how he handled the criticism. The worst thing you can do is tell your fan base to essentially go fuck itself. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and end it right here because, you know, I I can I can go on and on, but I'm just going to repeat the same point. You know, I'm just, you know, like, 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 I'll even acknowledge I'm just some random jackass on the internet. And I think Kevin Smith really needs to keep his, you know, fucking trap shut. But, um, you know, who's going to, who's going to listen to some random jackass on the internet? Um, you know, Penn Gillette of, uh, fame of, of Penn and Teller fame had a, uh, had a great saying on his, uh, on his Showtime show bullshit that I think Kevin Smith really needs to hear. You need to shut the fuck up. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. As you, If you guys have been following me for long enough, you know I am terrible at ending these, so I will just see you guys uh, next time.